G'day guys, alright today we're going to work on kickball changes, hitches, sweeps, knee pops, that's probably enough for this video and then what we will do is uh, in a future video show you how you can put them into your dance whether it be line dancing, west coast swing, modern jive, all these rhythms are very applicable well, to every dance really. Um, so what we're going to do, I'll just show you how to do all these drills and I'll actually do both side lead and follow um, and if you're a line dancer it doesn't really matter, you just need to learn them on both sides. So if I was going to do a kickball change and kick step step or one and two. If I was doing it off the right side, kick step step, kick step step. I could do it with a heel so I could flex, boom step step boom step step if i got down low i could make it look a little more hip hoppy or swing but for now just learn the rhythm kick step step or kick step step then you want to think about how can i travel that kick back back which would be one up two if i do it off the right side kick step step or kick step step how far you want to travel it will depend on what dance you're doing or how big you want to make the movement but if you learn these rhythms they're really good fun kick step step in place kick step travel and then work on the travel to make it longer or shorter kick step step kick travel travel or kick underneath the body and travel you'll work that out as you go now if i want to add more flair more style uh, make it a bigger variation, I would sweep, step, step, sweep, step, step, sometimes known as a flare or a rendezvous. Sweep, travel, travel. Sweep, travel, travel. If I do that off the right side, sweep, step, step, sweep, step, step, sweep, travel, travel. Do that again. Sweep, travel, travel. Get used to doing that, side on for you, sweep, step, step, sweep, step, step, sweep, travel, travel, sweep, travel, travel, off the right side, sweep, step, step, sweep, step, step, sweep, travel, travel, sweep, travel, travel. And again, that travel is going to be, if you're doing it as a line dancer, with based on the amount of room or space you have uh, to other dancers if you're doing it as a leader it's going to be based on how far or how much connection you need to get the girl to travel with you and then as a follow how much connection you need to create and then how much the leader wants you to move down the track and we will show this in future videos um, if i wanted to do more of a hitch like action i'm going to do it with feet up and i'm going to flare the feet or swivel the feet out so it's going to go both heels, step, step. Both heels, step, step. Both heels, step, step. I'm adding a little bit of arm action in there because I'm not lying down, so I'm going to do that. If I was connected, I might do it with one arm because that one might be free, and if I'm a follower, it would be the same. So now we're going to travel it to the heels, travel, travel. To the heels, travel, travel. Heels, travel travel so you get that little styling these are really good for accenting things in the music side on swivel the feet out boom get used to doing that then swivel oops swivel travel travel the arms will certainly help maintain that balance travel travel one of the things you can see even in the kickball and kickball change that i'm moving my core and my core goes back travel travel switch travel travel and one r two so if i do that on the other side one r two one r two so i can do it on the right or the left side it's a really good practice out back back out under under kick under under kick travel travel sweep under under sweep travel travel and then if i did it the same i could do a forward boom forward forward kick ball change sweep ball change or uh, kick travel travel out 
travel, travel, sweep, travel, travel. And then you have a nice movement that you can work on. Now we want to work on that knee. So if I went knee, pop. I'm going to actually do it knee, pop. So if I just led something or I was getting ready to dance and I wanted to change weight or the movement needed to start on the right leg, I would just shift my weight. I wouldn't physically pick it up, take a step. I would just shift, lift up the knee, send it out, or flex the foot, send it out. Shift, boom, or shift, boom, out. So up, out, up, out, point the foot, out, point the foot, out. All right, so if I do it sideways, knee, travel, travel, or knee, step. See the difference? Because if I go here, boom, boom, that would be again like a hitch action, then out, or knee, step. The other side, knee, travel, travel, or knee, step, step. All right, so let's try that forward. Knee, step, step. Knee, step, step. Or knee, travel, travel. And then off the other side, knee, travel, travel. So I pop that knee up, and then you choose how you want the rhythm to be a walk or a step, step. Now, if I wanted to do that to the side, boom, ha, boom, ha, boom, ha, boom, ha, boom, ha, or boom, and really bring that up, sweep it around and up. So work on those very simple movements, practice them. In the next video, we will actually do a drill that puts all these together and you can practice them to music and have a lot of fun with it.